Hey everyone, so before this video gets started, if you're an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or a gig worker and you wanna get guaranteed pay every single time you go out and drive, there's this new app called Solo and we'd use the link below to sign up. They're actually just gonna give you $10 simply for trying out the app totally for free anywhere in the country. It's free to sign up and you can get access to mileage tracking, expense tracking, help with your taxes. This awesome app, Solo, you can download it right now, get 10 bucks, and again, get access to guaranteed pay. Let's get started with the video. So the next, next, next video topic is, we're talking about what do you do when a Uber passenger cancels the ride in the middle of the trip? So sometimes as a Uber driver, you will have a passenger who tries to scam you for a free ride. And the way they do this is, well, the one of the ways they do this, there's a lot of ways they try to scam you. So you gotta keep out, make sure to watch our videos, watch the Rideshare Hub, make sure to subscribe so you get tip, top tips and tricks. But one of the ways is during the ride, let's say it's like a 30 minute ride, you know? Like a 20, you're getting 20, 30 bucks for this ride. They'll cancel like 10 minutes in, thinking that you're not going to notice that they canceled and that's you're only going to get like four or five bucks because it like prorates it but for for how long the ride's been so izzy what what do you think drivers should do when this happens when the passenger cancels mid-trip yeah they, they try to scam the driver for free ride so yeah so a lot of the time the passenger will gaslight you and they'll be like, I didn't cancel the ride. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. First of all, you can clearly see they canceled the ride. So you just got to be like, yo, like since you canceled, you either have to, I don't even know if they can do this, like reorder it or like well, you need to let them out because they're not your passenger anymore. So yeah, they're not being insured. Like, yeah, I guess it, if they cancel the ride and they're in your car, then they're not, the ride isn't insured anymore, right? They're not your passenger. They're just a random stranger. Like, I mean, it, it's, it's still insured because like, there's literally, it's not even a ride anymore. It's like, you're literally just, you just got a scammer in your car. Like you're trying to kick them out of your car. <laughs> like, but the other yeah. thing too, guys, is I, I know some drivers do this, is they use GPS outside of the Uber app. So let's say the, the passenger tells you the location or they're like, oh yeah, I just go to in and out like whatever. Let's say they order a ride to Carl's Jr. And then you're like, oh, let me, can you take me to in and out actually? And then you as a driver, you're like, you go off the Uber app and you're just like, yeah, I know where in and out is. Then they cancel the ride. You're not paying attention. That could happen too. So you make sure you're using the GPS in the Uber app. So that way if the ride goes out and you got to make sure that, the, you know, the, the destination is like locked in, you're going to the right destination because a lot of passengers will say, oh, can you go here instead? And then like, they don't change it. So make sure that you, they change it in the app. That way, if it does get canceled, then you, you know, like, you know, the address goes away. Yeah. Just pull over and kick them out. Pull over, kick them out. <laughs> Don't yeah, use... if they refuse to get out, just call the police. I don't know. <laughs> call the police. Don't don't physically remove them yourself. You do not want to like people file lawsuits. Like it's so dumb, but like I've heard of a lawsuit where a guy broke into somebody's house trying to rob the house. He tripped in their house and then he sued the homeowner. Well, how? What? <laughs> Cause he, he broke into somebody's house and then he got like, he injured himself in the other person's house. So it's like, if somebody scams you and then you like, you know, remove them physically and they get injured, like they could, you know, sue you. So you don't want like for assault or whatever, they might press charges. Mm, yeah. Even though like, you know, they're technically in the wrong, yeah. like you cannot do that. So that's why you got to call the police to do that. And get yeah. a dash cam. Make sure you have a dash cam too. 